Hello friends. In this video, we will be going to discuss on the topic active packaging and intelligent packaging. So let's have an introduction on the topic packaging. Packaging, it is an essential step for food processing that can contribute to the quality, safety, shelf life, convenience and economic viability of food. What is viability? Viability means increase in the ability of the food product that is increase in the quality, safety, shelf life of the food product. So because of economic globalization, there are escalating demands for longer shelf life, better quality retention for food products. Packaging, it's a barrier between the food and the external environment of the food. So it is a barrier for oxygen, moisture, light, volatiles, physical, chemical and biological hazard. Physical hazards means introduction of any foreign object into the food product or chemical means any chemical reaction taking place in the food product. Biological hazards includes any microorganisms causing the spoilage of the food product. So, a perished food product, when experience a shipment, it may lead to the fluctuation in the temperature, which leads to the delay in transportation, which causes the food spoilage and over ripening of the food product, leading to the overall economic loss of the country. So, this packaging material, it prevents the fresh product from further contamination at the packaging level and it is important as the decontamination step before the packaging. So both the modified atmospheric packaging that is MAP and the antimicrobial packaging are able to contribute to delay the growth of the microorganisms and it ensures the quality and safety of the food product. Active packaging. In active packaging, it aims to enhance the function of the packaging by interacting with the food and the environmental condition of the food product. Active packaging includes the change or modification in the oxygen control, ethylene control, moisture control, antimicrobial control, whereas the intelligent packaging it aims in the which helps the, to monitor the condition and quality of the product through specific indicators such as freshness indicator, radio frequency, identification tags. So what does this mean? In active packaging, the environmental condition of the food and with the packet has been modified whereas in intelligent packaging, the environmental condition is not modified. Rather, the environmental condition is being monitored through the sensors which are being provided at the top of the food product. So, the agents which includes in the active packaging includes, for example, carbon dioxide emitters. So, in carbon dioxide emitters, the carbon dioxide gas has been emitted. So with the release of this gas within the packaged food products, it inhibits the microorganisms and it preserves the food quality. For example, sodium bicarbonate acts as a good carbon dioxide emitters. Further citric acids, ferrous carbonates are also used. Antimicrobials it means the microorganisms which act on the food product and it uh, increases the degradation rate of the food product. So by using the antimicrobial agent, this can be, the spoilage can be retarded. For example, usage of metals, essential oils, lysozymes, chitosans, lactoferrins, nesin. Ethylene scavengers. In ethylene scavenger, 
for example potassium permanganate so we know that ethylene gas is been uh, produced by the ripened food product so when the potassium permanganate it comes in contact with the base it oxidizes the ethylene in stage and forms carbon dioxide and water vapor making the carbon making the potassium permanganate not toxic so uh, various other ethylene scavengers are also used like activated carbons metal oxides titanium oxides so on oxygen scavengers in oxygen scavengers oxygen gas has been absorbed for example by the usage of iron mainly iron dusts are used because it has higher surface area which absorbs the oxygen more easily and it inhibits uh, the growth of aerobic microorganisms antioxidants such as alpha tocopherol essential oils are being used to uh, reduce the oxidation rate of the food product now oxygen control so we have to control the oxygen of the food product because oxygen can cause the off flavor it results in the color change oxidative degradation loss of nutrients accelerates spoilage in fruits and vegetables which may greatly affect the consumers so the oxygen absorbers are being introduced to extend the shelf life of the fruits and vegetables by removing the amount of oxygen from void atmosphere or the head space in the packaging and inhibiting the growth of aerobic microorganisms so this oxygen absorbers it absorbs the oxygen present in the food product in the void atmosphere or in the head space and it inhibits the growth of the aerobic microorganisms oxygen scavengers could cause problem when the oxygen level inside package of fruits and vegetables becomes lower than the tolerance limit which may result in anaerobic condition and cause malodorous compounds and the growth of the antimicrobial microorganisms so this means the oxygen is been scavenged out which results to the uh, oxygen level gets decreased or lower the tolerance limit and since the tolerance limit is been uh, it's been lowered few anaerobic microorganisms can grow in the micro in the food product and it may hamper the quality of the food product now ethylene control ethylene it is a natural hormone present in the fruits and vegetables so this stimulates the growth and accelerates the respiration of the fruits and vegetables so ethylene scavengers are applied on the film sachets paper bags cardboard boxes and they are usually consists of potassium permanganate activated carbon mineral substances so when the ethylene gas has been released by the food product this potassium permanganate come in contact with the base and the, it oxidizes the ethylene gas to carbon dioxide and vapor pressure and this indicated the positive effect of the ethylene scavenger in many fruits and vegetables now the amount of e potassium permanganate used in the food product is been limited since there since there are various other types of products where potassium permanganates are used so 
different types of food products have different requirements of the potassium permanganate or the amount it depends on the amount of shelf life needed for the food product moisture content the fresh fruits and vegetables usually have a moisture of about 85 to 95% so increase in the moisture content of the food product means increase in the spoilage of the food product and vice versa low humidity level causes shriveling of produces while too high humidity level leads to undesirable microbial growth so humidity absorber what does it do it absorbs the humidity means the moisture present in the food product in order to extend the shelf life of the fruits and vegetables there are many available humidity absorbers for example sorbitols sodium chlorides potassium chlorides bentonite so this sodium chloride potassium chloride bentonite are more effective than sorry the potassium chloride sorbitols and sodium chloride are much more effective than bentonite antimicrobial packaging the growth of undesirable microorganisms on fruits and vegetable is important factor affecting products short life which could result in spoilage and pose threats to food safety so when microorganism act in the food product antimicrobial agents are being added to inhibit the growth of the microorganisms so microbial packaging can effectively introduce microbial contamination and therefore extend the shelf life of the food product antimicrobial packagings are of two types volatile and non volatile intelligent packaging intelligent packaging as the name suggests it's a clever and quick method of understanding something relevant so it refers to the packaging material that can monitor the status quality of the food but it does not affect the to the quality or modify the in packaging environment or extend the shelf life it only monitors the status of the food product in intelligent packaging it is able to communicate with stakeholder and acts as support tool for them by providing information of changes of internal and external environmental condition of products so in intelligent packaging it it mainly communicates with the stakeholders means it's communicate with the consumer that when the food product is consumable and when it is non consumable since the biosensors are present at the top of the packet and the consumers can monitor the status and consume the food product so sensors are designed for quantifying corresponding analytics rapidly so here we will mainly focus on the freshness indicator and which are used in fruits and vegetables so here we can see the in the canned product food product the blue color indicates that the can juice is fresh and can be consumed but in this can product the color blue color changes or it fades away which refers that it's no more consumable so a consumer can easily identify the color and can consume the food product and here in this second picture 
we can see the top of the can when the can is kept in a warm condition there's no color change but when it's kept in an cold condition the color slightly changes which signifies the environmental inside environmental condition of the can product in this third picture here the biosensors look the biosensors are being here and see the color signifies the rate of degradation of the product so when the food product is yellow or greenish it means that the food is fresh and is can be consumed easily but here when it changes to orange it refers that the quality has started to degrade but when it changes to red it's a warning that if a consumer consumed it then is it might hamper the health of the consumer so these biosensors are uh, help the consumers to easily identify or monitor the inside status of the food product in this fourth picture i here the food product is made seen inside is glossy and it's uh, this green color it signifies that the food product is fresh whereas in the next picture the food product has got a little bit faded and has been swelled up that means it's a warning and see the biosensor here it changes to yellow in color showing that it's a warning when a human consume it it may uh, affect the health of the consumer here the biosensor meter has been provided through which the human or the consumer can monitor the inside status and can purchase the food product so that's all from my end thank you